chicken nuggets. I'm afraid to add a bit of a kickball change, you know, some shimmy shimmy. You know, the first thing you're probably thinking to yourselves here, well, if this guy's blind, why is he wearing glasses then? <laughs> Hello. Hello, how are you? Uh, I'm good. Let's start with your name, please. Uh, my name's Liam Bannigan. Well, nice to meet you. Thank actually. you. So, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Essex. <laughs> how old are you? Uh, 25. And what do you do, Liam? Uh, I work with my dad as a plumber. OK. How long have you been doing that for? Uh, for about two and a half years. All right, Liam, good luck. Thank you very much. OK, guys, so I want to start off real quick by saying that I'm a gay man. Sorry, ladies. <laughs> no, but I do feel the need to say that, though, as a lot of people seem to mistake me for a lesbian. <laughs> yeah, apparently the man boobs kind of throw people off a little bit. <laughs> yeah, but say what you want about the man boobs, there is no greater feeling in life then getting home after a long day of work and just whipping off that bra. <laughs> Am I right, ladies? <laughs> Simon, you know what I'm talking about. I'm so with you. <laughs> uh, but, guys, when I'm not being a lesbian, um, <laughs> I actually work with my dad as a plumber, as I said, and uh, safe to say that we don't get along. I think it's obvious. Um, so, basically, my dad, he never trusts me while we're there. He never does. Like, he'll ask me to go to the van to get a hammer, for example, but he'd go into full detail of what a hammer is. <laughs> like, I think he thinks I'm gonna go to the van and, I don't know, come back in, like, a bright pink ball gown. <laughs> <laughs> and be like, Dad, <laughs> the craziest thing happened. <laughs> Madonna was there, it was the whole thing. You won't believe it. <laughs> We do argue a lot at work as well. So as a way of getting, like, my secret revenge, I've decided to treat everything on a building site like a West End performance. <laughs> <laughs> Goes down the hoot, as you can imagine. So an example of this, right, my dad, he chews gum all day at work. Like, so loud, right? So what I do now, I grab the screw gun, I go up to him and I go, you pup that gum. One more time. <laughs> he had it coming. He had it coming. He only had himself to blame. <laughs> <laughs> and don't be afraid to add a bit of a kickball change, you know, some shimmy shimmies. <laughs> think of the steps, ladies. Woo! <laughs> I could probably think of the steps a little bit more in life, not gonna lie to you. I am trying to lose a bit of weight, guys. I feel like it's the mature thing to do since I'm failing miserably at being an adult. My mum's words, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm still splitting my lips and shoving in too many Pringles. <laughs> I'm constantly getting my hand stuck in the Pringles can, which is, like, not a good look. <laughs> but my brother as well, he's always on at me about losing weight. You know, he's like, Liam, you know, you should treat your body like a temple. And not only do I treat my body like a temple, Sean, I treat my body like the Catholic Church, full of bread, wine, and the constant urge to worship a man in a loincloth. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Very good. David, you're on your feet. Well, I feel like we're at the birth of something really special here because what I loved about that was how authentic it was, how authentic it was to you. <laughs> you're super likeable. You're obviously naturally funny. I mean, I, I just think you're going to go super, super far, so I'm really, really excited for you from, from that audition. Thank you. <laughs> For the fifth audience, they were on your side the whole time. Everyone was willing you to do well. And like David said, it was so authentic. I could listen to the Essex banter all night. <laughs> it is, yes, exactly. 
Get that Lambrino. <laughs> Exactly that. The more you Thank are yourself, you. the more we love you. So well yeah. done. Well exactly. done. Exactly. You didn't turn into a different person. It, it felt very relaxed. I think you did really well. It was inventive. It was natural. It was funny. And I can't, I can't wait to see you develop because I think you've got masses of potential. Thank you so much. Really good. I was going to ask you, Liam. So if you, if you were to make the final, have you got something in your head which is? Kind of more of a musical production in addition to what you do. Uh, yeah, shockingly, yes. Yes. <laughs> but, no, you're very funny, very original. Uh, I think I know where this is going to go. Let's start with David. Let me kick this off, <laughs> Liam, with a yes. Thank you so much. Alicia. It's a yes for me, Liam. Amanda. It's a yes for me. Another one that counts. Liam, you got four yeses. Yes. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Take you down the side of stage. There's a bit of tape here, mind. Strange can <laughs> camera. <laughs> this is it. You got it? Right. All right, straight ahead for now. Here we go. Here we go. Here we are, centre stage. And then take your the edge board. There you are. There you go, you got it? There's your mic. Oh, you got it? Enjoy. Okay. Good luck, pal. Hello. Hello. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm excited to be here. Take it you are from Scotland? Yes. <laughs> Where, whereabouts in Scotland? Um, I'm from a small town just outside Glasgow. Lovely. Very nice. What's your name? My name is Cubby. Cubby? That's a cool name. <laughs> That's cool. My, my, my actual name's terrible. It wouldn't work on oh, stage. Oh, please <laughs> tell me, please. <laughs> What's your real name? David Cuthbertson. That's cool. <laughs> David Cuthbertson. Very... Cubby works better. Cubby's cool. And can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Um, well, I'm actually a blind comic. <laughs> and uh, I've had a degenerative eye condition since birth. Right. And gradually things have just got worse over the years until now where I could basically see some bright lights. Right, OK. And how long have you been doing comedy? About five years because as my eyesight kind of got worse, your passions are taken away from you. But I think I've found something that my eyesight won't be a problem anymore. I've never let it get me down. I just want to... Don't take it seriously. Good luck, my love. Good evening, Britain's Got Talent! Very excited to be here, especially after I was told that I'd be led on stage by two absolute professionals and legends of the show. Thank you. Sadly, though, Stavros Flatley weren't available tonight. <laughs> and I know the first thing you're probably thinking to yourselves here, well, if this guy's blind, why is he wearing glasses then? <laughs> I've got to say, this gig's already going better than my last one. I was five minutes into that before someone told me I was still standing in the middle of the train station. <laughs> and believe it or not, folks, but I do have a long-term girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, won't catch me in the undateables, eh? <laughs> <laughs> But, but it is hard meeting women when you're blind, you know. Very few seem to want a real blind date. <laughs> <laughs> It'll probably come as no surprise to anyone that I've got a dog, eh? No. Might surprise you to learn, though, that it's a Bichon Freeze. <laughs> Have you seen them? Yes. I haven't. Oh, and you're not going to believe this, but my bleeding dogs went blind on me. <laughs> what are the chances? Quite high as it happens when your dog's a diabetic. <laughs> he still manages to hone in on food, though, like a wee blind diabetic sugar ninja, though. <laughs> but taking him for a walk now is a right barrel of laughs, I'll tell you. The blind are leading the blind here, people. <laughs> 
Ladies and gentlemen, Britain's Got Talent, you've been absolutely awesome. Thanks very much for listening. I've been covering. I honestly think you have real potential and it, I'm honoured that you came on the show because you did brilliantly. So Thanks well so done. Much. David? Your stories were fantastic, they were authentic, they were true to you. Um, you've turned what might be a negative in your life into a positive and I'm so pleased you came on the show. And the only way to judge comedy is it funny. Yeah, it was hilarious. So well done, you. Thanks, David. Uh, you are really, really, really funny, Cubby. And you know what I loved? What really made me laugh was that you were laughing at your own <laughs> jokes. <laughs> and that always cracks me up because I do the same thing when... <laughs> normally, in my case, no one else finds me funny apart from myself, but I do have a habit of doing it. We're really lucky that you came on the show this year. <laughs> Well, Cubby, I completely agree with my fellow judges. I think you're such a nice guy. It was very authentic. You've got naturally funny bones. And I think you're going to inspire a lot of people. And I think people are going to really, really root for you. So I am going to kick this off with a yes. David. Cubby, I'm saying yes. It's a yes from me. And now you have four yeses, Cubby. Hello. Who are you? My name is Josh. Josh. Both. 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 Where's yeah. that from? As you can tell from the accent, it's Scandinavia. Yeah. <laughs> Proper. Scandy. Excellent. Viking. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you from? I am from uh, London. Okay, brilliant. Good yeah. luck. All right, cool. Do I go now? Yeah, just yeah. do it. All right, cool. So I, um, I, uh, I moved in with my girlfriend recently, right? Now, like, things have changed with my girlfriend, right? No-one warned me that my girlfriend was going to get addicted to Groupon. Right, my girlfriend loves Groupon. She's addicted to the discount websites. That's the only reason I'm here, is to get rich. Cos I can't deal with the phone calls. When she rings me up at work, she's like, ''Babe, take tomorrow off. We're going alpaca trek in Swansea. <laughs> Eight pounds each. It's always the most random stuff, right? I wake up middle of an iPad lighting up her face. <laughs> and I see you're finally awake. <laughs> Thinking trampoline in Skegness. <laughs> Complimentary glass of champagne, free foot massage, £3.50. <laughs> like, it makes no sense, right? I'm worried next year it'll be like a Louis Ferrou documentary. <laughs> the dark side of Groupon. <laughs> Both homeless. I'm just sat there like, Louie, it's gotten out of hand, mate. Been doing four spa packages a day. <laughs> I'm clinically addicted to whale music. <laughs> My girlfriend sat next to me, bald from head to toe. <laughs> I mean, it was 90% off laser hair removal, I miss. <laughs> it's too good a deal to be missed. Louis comes over the voiceover. Unfortunately, Joshua and Harriet died by the end of filming. Skydiving in Luton for a fiver. <laughs> <laughs> Thought the parachute was complimentary, it wasn't. It's was a glass of Prosecco. <laughs> My girlfriend loves a glass of Prosecco, right? And she always gets two types of drunk, right? First type of drunk, she's loving life, right? She's singing, she's dancing, she's got an Aperol spritz. Yes. Because that's what she drinks now. Yes. She always dances like this. She's like, one kiss is all it takes. <laughs> Fall in love with me. Possibilities. <laughs> one kiss is all it takes. Fall in love with me. She starts doing this head thing she learned from Mystique, right? She's like, one kiss is all it takes. And <laughs> she want a night out. That's you. Fall in love with me. There's no music playing, we're in a smoking area. <laughs> but about an hour later, right, she goes two words, right, she gets reduced to two words. I turn to her, I go, is everything all right, babe? And she goes, um... <laughs> G 
chicken nuggets. <laughs> Funny, man. And her friends are the same, right? There's always that one friend, like mascara down her face, high heels in hand, just ready to go home. She's like, chicken nuggets. <laughs> There's the friend kissing the guy, chicken nuggets. There's the vegetarian, I'll have chips. <laughs> and chicken nuggets. I'll be Josh Bob. Thank you. <laughs> wow, you are fantastically funny. You're super confident. So I think you've got all the things you need to go all the way to the very top. So I thank you for coming on this show tonight. You were fantastic. Thank you. I'll say that. Yeah, I really like you. I liked you from your opening chat. I like that you made it very personal about your missus. I loved all of that. I thought the whole act was great. Really natural. I'll say that. Thank you. Yeah, there's something kind of unique um, about you. I think people will, they'll like you, apart from the fact that you're funny. Oh, and, that's good. And that was yeah. a good audition. Thank you, know? you. We always talk about people having, being funny or having funny bones, and you're naturally very funny. Um, I'm going to say yes. I'm saying yes. <laughs> All right, good. I'm going to say yes. Well, then you've got four yeses. Yeah. Are you singing for us today? I'm not going to sing. <laughs> I'm just going to do a few jokes. Yeah, Great. good. Yeah. Good. How are you feeling? I'm feeling... I've, I'm, I'm good. I've only vomited three times. <laughs> and uh, I'm feeling pumped. Anything we can do to help you right now? I think it's too late. <laughs> for all of us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think the damage is done. OK. And, uh, right. We'll give it a crack. Should we, yeah, they're ready get you on there, ready. should we? Let's do it, mate. Come that on. Way. If you're going to vomit, vomit that way. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Nick, it's Listen. all yours. On to the start. Hey. Have fun out there. Enjoy right. it, pal. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Cheers. There you go. Hi. Hi, how are you? Hey, I'm right. How's it going? Good. What's your name? I'm Nick. Nick. Dixon. Oh. Same as you. We could share the same dad, you never know. We probably do. Anything's possible. <laughs> uh, where are you from, Nick? I'm from Cumbria, up north. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Me, I'm a, well, I'm a comedian. I've been doing it about nine years. And, uh, you know, it's going pretty well, but I thought, let's take it to the bigger stage. BGT. Yeah. So here we are, yeah. OK. Oh, thank you very much. Nice. Do you know what, Nick? Yeah? Just do your thing. All right. Thanks, guys. How's everyone doing? You all right? Good, yeah. Good to be here. So the big news in my life, guys, is that I actually got engaged. How about that? That's a good thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, and then we broke up a while ago, but thank you. Um, <laughs> it's fine. I'm over it. Don't know why you brought it up. It's, uh, and now everyone's telling me you've got to go dating again, Nick. You've got to go and date again. I'm like, I don't want to. It's quite a harsh dating world out there now, isn't it? Everyone knows exactly what they want. Like, women are obsessed with height, I found out recently. Like, I'm five, nine and a half, so I'm smashing it. But, like, um, <laughs> women are obsessed with height. They're like, men aren't bothered about height. My ex-girlfriend was four foot 11. I didn't even notice, because she had amazing uh, personality. And, um, <laughs> but women are obsessed with height. Like, I had a date lined up with a really attractive woman. This is a while ago, when I was thinner. And she messaged me just for the date. She's like, wait, how tall are you? I'm like, why are we going on a fairground ride? Like, why is... <laughs> I actually texted that back, because I'm a bit of a legend. And uh, <laughs> she goes, ideally, I need someone over six foot, because I'm 5'6", but I often wear heels. I'm like, you can't do that, can you? Like, yeah, I'm 5'9", but I'm often on horseback. <laughs> uh, so you must be eight foot two uh, and really good at running fast. That's what I need. Must eat mainly sugar cubes, OK? That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> the other big thing is ghosting now, isn't it? Have you ever been ghosted? If you don't know what ghosting is, that's where you're messaging someone, it's going fine, then they just suddenly don't reply, and you're like, OK, guess that's that. I'm just going to walk away. It's been six years. I've got my pride. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> um, <laughs> that's my cutoff point, six years. Um, I don't know why it's even called ghosting, because that's not how ghosts behave, is it? I mean, in my experience, ghosts outstay their welcome, if anything. I mean, <laughs> they keep bothering it even after they're dead. Do you know what I mean? How needy is that? <laughs> it should be like, oh, I ghosted someone the other day. Oh, what? You didn't get back to them? No, no, I showed up at their house late at night and started messing around in the kitchen, <laughs> banging pots and stuff. You're like, I think that's called stalking, mate. Um, 
how boring would Ghostbusters have been? Just a two-hour movie about people ignoring each other. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Who are you going to call? No one. I'm just going to leave it, actually. <laughs> Nick Dixon, thank you. Thank you. Very funny. I like him. David? Well, stand-up comedy is one of the hardest things to do, I think, in the entertainment business. And it's one of the hardest things to do on Britain's Got Talent. But I think you smashed it tonight. Thanks very much, man. Thank you very much, too. Yeah. Legend. Um, you were very funny. The Thank jokes were brilliant. I think it was excellent. Very well landed. The audience were behind you. Excellent Thanks a lot. job. Well done. Cheers. Bye. Uh, Nick, I think your material was really, really funny. Thank you. I think the only thing you're lacking is stage presence. <gasps> okay. I do. Ooh. I do. <laughs> Yeah, it's my first crack at this, isn't it? So I think yeah. uh, what Simon's talking about might just yeah. be a bit of nerves at a new situation, yeah. you know what I mean? Because normally I do have stage presence in a exactly. club, right? Exactly. Right. Yeah. Exactly what I was going to say. You I, tell him. I love the fact that when you came on, you had your hand in your pocket. Right. Flowed, the audience loved it. Like Simon always says, he judges a comedian by the reaction he gets from the audience, and you got an amazing one. Yep. There you so, go. Let's go. Thank there you, you go. Nick, of course, I am saying yes. And it's a yes from me. I'm going to say yes. I'm okay. saying yes. Four yeses. Well done, Nick. Thanks a lot. Thank you, everyone. Cheers. All right. I think I'm not... I think I can amp it up a bit, you know what I mean? It's like, this is a new situation. Uh -huh. I stood on the spot. Normally, I'd walk around a bit. Yeah. That's about as high energy as I get. I think around. so, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, I, I think your charm is your low keenness. That's what I think, but uh, not for everyone. But... Nick, never change. All right, thanks, mate. You just stares you on. Because <laughs> that's how we love you. Thanks, guys.